Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Autogefühl. Today I'm here in Munich to attend the Audi Tech Day Connectivity event. They're going to be showcasing a bunch of really cool technology that we can very well see in the upcoming Audi cars. Are you interested? Let's go. So this is the Audi's virtual reality showroom, so to speak. So you can spec your entire car from the outdoor color, the exteriors, the interiors, and you can have a complete three-dimensional look. You can even go inside, you can look at your seats, and you can change the background. Can we change the background? There we go. And you can go up close, and you can see the detailing as well. Can we change the car? Um, can you put up the vintage race car? That would be pretty cool. There we go. So this is pretty cool. There it is. Very nice detailing on the engine as well. You can go into the head, look at the cylinders. And so we can see the interior as well. You can see the steering wheel, the heads up display. And again, you can change your seats if you want to specify different colors in the stitching or instead of leather, have some different materials. So the showroom does not need to keep all these different models on hand. They can just give you the headset. So I'm here with Marcus from Audi. So Marcus, this is a very cool technology that you're showing today. So how do you see this affecting customers' decisions to buy the car? Yeah, finally, our main goal was to establish uh, and introduce a technology at our dealerships, which gives people a reason to come to the Audi dealership finally. Uh, and uh, they shouldn't, uh, from our opinion, configure a car in internet or something. It's better to do it at a dealership because you get, uh, how should I say, better support there and uh, you can answer our questions. And we want to support it with special technology. Virtual reality has the power. It's a very powerful and uh, immersive technology which allows us to show the car in an unexpected, fascinating way. And we want uh, to insinuate uh, the, the cars uh, yeah, in a special way. It's called Audi VR Experience and not Audi Showroom because we have some additional features as you tried before. You can look into the engine, see the car on the moon if you want. Um, so it's up to you finally how much time do you want to spend uh, in VR. And uh, yeah, the, the, I guess the main advantage is that you, s you are able to see the car in a very natural way, wheel 3D real dimensions, you can go in a very natural way to, to details, close to details to see them, and you really think your car is there. People are excited if they use it, uh, customers, and um, that's also the reason why the dealers love it, of course. Mm -hmm. So talking about dealers, how many dealers have this technology right now, and what is the feedback that they're getting about this uh, VR? Currently we're piloting the system in Germany at uh, six dealerships. Um, and we got a really, really positive feedback as, as expected, to be honest. And uh, yeah, we're really happy about this because uh, it shows that uh, it, we're on the right way here and we want to um, start a worldwide rollout from the last quarter of this year, hopefully. Cross my fingers for that. But I'm really optimistic that we are able to uh, equip more and more dealerships within the next one to two years with this uh, technology uh, to make it accessible for our customers worldwide. So this is a very cool technology, very easy way for you to really get a feeling of what the kind of car that you're getting. And I think people will really appreciate this. And hopefully in the future, maybe if everybody has a VR set in their home, they don't even have to go to the Audi showroom. They can do this at their own uh, place as well. And I'm sitting here with Michael. Michael's going to show us a really quick preview about Audi's new connectivity technology. Michael? Yeah, what I want to show you, to, for example, is the Audi Connect function, where we have some uh, really interesting functions um, within the car where we can, in the car, get 
information about uh, traveling, city events, or parking spots, or weather, and something like this. So it's a really huge list for the moment. Um, but we, what we do for the interaction to make it easier is to have a, a dashboard which we can, fig can configure ourselves um, and personalize our Audi um, to have our purposes in the right uh, position. Okay, and um, I see that this uh, concept also has a tablet for the back seat. And what does the tablet in the back seat control? So, with the tablet in the back seat, we have a really special um, feature for the for the customer. So, what we control can control here is like we can access all the media which we have in the car, all the sources like jukebox and the uh, DVD and so is um, accessible. But we can also do. For example, is to set a location which we can then send to the uh, MMI and get a new target for navigation then. Hi, I'm here with Nico from Audi's HMI and online services. He's going to show us about the new Audi's concept for their dashboard and their connectivity. Nico? Yeah. So what you see here is the Audi Virtual Dashboard. So that's a concept that shows the direction uh, which our future interior concepts and MMI systems will uh, look like. So what we have here uh, in the middle are two center information displays. They're both uh, touch displays. And what we have integrated here is what we call MMI touch response. So that's a kind of a haptical feedback. So uh, just touching it doesn't do anything. You have to apply a little bit of force and you can hear and feel the feedback, so it's like pushing in the release of a button. It also works for the upper display, same same way, and that's really a good touch for automotive touch displays. Yeah. What we also got here is uh, in the app, for example, if you in the passenger seat and um, you want to select a new location you want to go to, let's say the Vidara Hotel. Just swipe it to the car, it will appear here. Just confirm it, oh sorry, and then navigation will start. Well, that is really interesting. So when can we expect this technology to make its way into the final production cars for Audi? Well, as it is, it's a concept, but you will see the overall well, layout of the displays and also uh, the technology uh, with the haptical feedback, MMI touch response that we show here, sometime next year in one of our bigger cars. So we are here in the Audi virtual reality test car. So what this means is I put on the VR headset and there are a bunch of sensors around the car which tracks the actual movement and I get to see a simulated environment and drive the car inside that. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now Ready? you can drive to the left, okay. yeah, to the traffic light. Ah, uh, okay, I see a traffic light. This is very unreal. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's, I can see pedestrians as well. There are people walking around. There is no latency in the system as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, now you can drive a bit faster, about 40. 40, okay. I'm at 40 now. Cyclist in front of you will make a crash on the left side. Look to him. Ah, so <laughs> that's the emergency brake. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Now you can follow the blue arrows and you can park. Cool. So I'm here with Martin from Audi Product Training. So, uh, Martin, can you give us a brief introduction about what the Audi Virtual Car really is meant for? That means the Audi Virtual Training Car. I drive a real car in a real track, on a real track, but through a virtual world. 
I can see virtual traffic situations in front of me, but I'm actually driving a real car. This technology was developed in 2007 at our technical development department. So Martin, what are the advantages of having a combination of these two systems rather than just having a traditional authentic test drive versus a, you know, just a video game type of VR setup? How is this beneficial? We of Audi training are convinced it's easier to impress our customers with my own personal experience. But take for example our new huge range of uh, assist systems like in the new Audi A4 or the Q7. Most of these systems are safety systems that only take action when it's almost too late. That's the reason why we can't test these systems on public roads, for instance. And that's the second key challenge for us. And that's the reason why we have built up this Audi virtual training car, offering a training on technical innovations in an environment that is both authentic and safe. That makes a lot of sense. So this is the Audi Autonomous Driving Cup car. This is a project conducted by university students. They have built this using a lot of hardware and a lot of software that they've developed to uh, basically mimic autonomous driving conditions on the real road. So as you can see, the car has numerous sensors and cameras and a lot of data being transmitted to a central database. And the track as well is very, very similar to how a real world would be laid out with two-lane roads and parking and things like that. So this is something that is going to be able to show Audi how to scale this technology to a higher level to be implemented to everyday cars. So I'm here with Paul. Paul, can you tell us a little bit about the new HERE technology, which is um, the new big thing for Audi and I believe BMW and uh, Mercedes as well. How does the system work and how is it going to make driving much easier and much better for everybody? Mm -hmm. uh, the fierce competitors, Audi, BMW and, and Daimler, they um, uh, at some point in time, they realized uh, that um, a high definition map and, and, and consolidated data um, is, is, is very important uh, for autonomous driving in the long run. Um, and that's basically the, the reason why we um, uh, came together, we, we acquired here um, to, to save this, um, this opportunity uh, for the automotive industry. Um, so our big goal is to, to have a, um, a solid foundation for autonomous driving, a solid um, database, um, a, a database which tells you very accurately um, how the road um, uh, uh, is, is functioning, um, uh, what, what's on the road right now, uh, what, what dangers, for example, uh, broken, broken down cars, um, uh, um, uh, slippery roads, um, fog, and, and so on, which uh, would, um, would, would, would hinder um, kind of the, the autonomous driving experience um, in, in, in the midterm. Um, so... Uh, our goal is to, to, to establish this HD map, this here HD map um, uh, together, uh, but not only with uh, among the three of us OEMs, but um, as an open ecosystem for, uh, for the full and, and the, the, uh, all automotive players, uh, the, the, uh, the industry, and also other industries. So, so logistics, smart cities um, will all profit from those very accurate and, and up-to-date uh, data points. Okay, so basically, if a car sees a traffic jam or, you know, some sleet or ice on the road, it can communicate that through here to the other cars which are running the same system, so to make everybody safer. Now, when all these cars are sharing so much information and data, how, would, how do you think users would react to that? I mean, how are you going to ensure that people's private data is, is you know, still somehow private? Mm -hmm. So um, privacy uh, is, is a very, very important topic uh, for us as, as Audi, but also for, for the full automotive uh, industry. Um, and, and here uh, very well um, knows, knows this. Um, so what we'll do is, is we will only share data um, uh, that, that uh, has been agreed and approved by um, customers. So very much like you, you, you know it from the smartphone and, and the app ecosystem, um, customers um, buy a service and, and at, the, at the same time agree to share data to improve this service. 
Um, first point. Second point, the data we collect uh, to, to, to update the HD map is anonymized. Um, that's data that is um, uh, not, not traceable, um, that is not personalized, but anonymized. Um, and, and it only describes the surrounding and the environment, not your, your personal uh, driving pattern. Um, and and uh, thirdly, um, we will, um, of course, uh, pay very close attention to where those data points uh, sit um, and, and, and have uh, our data and, and privacy um, restrictions uh, very closely in mind when, when designing architectures. Okay, well, really exciting times ahead. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. Thank you. Good luck. So I'm here at the VR training table with Sina from the product development team. So can you please show us some of the new technologies, for example, the Intersection Assist? Das, der Kreuzungsassistent ist bei uns ein Vorentwicklungsprojekt, wo wir schon bereits in einer sehr, sehr frühen Phase hier eine Visualisierung vornehmen können von diesem Fahrerassistenzsystem, um dann später, je näher es an die Serie geht, immer besser noch zu erproben, ohne tatsächlich mit realen Prototypen hier ähm, das Ganze nachzustellen. Und das geht hier wirklich sehr leicht und schnell. Jetzt sehe ich zum Beispiel hier, bin ich an der Kreuzung und die ist natürlich grundsätzlich erstmal sehr, sehr übersichtlich. Deswegen habe ich jetzt hier mein Haus positioniert, um das Ganze realistischer sozusagen zu gestalten. So, wie funktioniert der Kreuzungsassistent? Ich kann jetzt hier mir beispielsweise ein Fahrzeug ähm, hineinstellen und komme dann mit meinem Ego-Fahrzeug. Sobald ich jetzt dieses positioniert habe, sehe ich hier zum einen die, die Radarsensoren, die ich schon im realen Fahrzeug natürlich nicht erleben könnte als Entwickler und kann sozusagen auch genau meine Funktion auch testen und präsentieren und eben wirklich erlebbar gestalten. Jetzt sehe ich zum Beispiel hier, dass ich selber aus der Fahrerperspektive noch nicht erkennen könnte, dass von links hier ein Fahrzeug kommt. Ähm, allerdings die front eck radare so weit vorne angesiedelt sind im Kühlergrill, dass sie eben ein bisschen mehr um die Ecke gucken können, als es der Fahrer kann. Und dementsprechend wird dieses Fahrzeug hier schon vom Sensor erfasst und mir auch im MMI als auch im Virtual Cockpit jeweils angezeigt. So kann der Fahrer bereits frühzeitig eben vor kreuzenden Fahrzeugen gewarnt werden. Und wenn ich jetzt erst selber fahre, dann würde ich erst, erst jetzt das Fahrzeug erkennen. Und das ist oftmals diese eine Sekunde, die einen vor dem Unfall bewahrt. That's really cool. And now, can you show us a little bit about the new Audi LED uh, Matrix technology as well? Hier auf dem Virtual Training Table, beziehungsweise bei uns in der technischen Entwicklung als Virtual Engineering Terminal bekannt, ähm, kann man natürlich nicht nur Fahrerassistenzsysteme oder Vorentwicklungsprojekte zeigen, sondern auch Lichtfunktionen sehr, sehr gut demonstrieren. Was man hier sieht, ich befinde mich hier an einem Parkplatz ähm, und kann jetzt hier zum Beispiel schon mal mein Fahrzeug positionieren. Jetzt sehe ich, das Licht geht an. Wunderbar, ich eben, befinde mich jetzt hier in der Fahrerperspektive und könnte jetzt beispielsweise ein Fremdfahrzeug, ein anderes Fahrzeug hier reinstellen und würde sehen, dass es ausmaskiert wird. Auch wenn ich jetzt hier dieses Fahrzeug wende und drehe, sehe ich eben genau, dieses einzelne Fahrzeug wird ausmaskiert. Ich brauche mir sozusagen auf der Landstraße oder ähm, überhaupt keine Gedanken mehr machen, mein Fernlicht immer auszumachen, äh, wieder anzuschalten, sondern kann dauerhaft mit Fernlicht fahren und entgegenkommende Fahrzeuge oder auch natürlich vorausfahrende Fahrzeuge werden entsprechend ähm, ausmaskiert von ganz alleine. Und äh, damit ich mir auch ein bisschen besser vorstellen kann, ähm, sowohl als Händler, als Kunde, aber auch als Entwickler, wie genau die Technik überhaupt funktioniert, kann ich hier auch eine andere Perspektive umschalten und sehe hier genau, wie jeweils die einzelnen die LED-Pakete ausgeblendet ähm, werden oder eben eingeblendet werden, sodass eben genau nur der Bereich nicht ähm, mit Licht ausgefüllt wird, wo eben auch das andere Fahrzeug ist. Today we had a great time at Audi's Tech Day Connectivity Event. We saw a lot of new upcoming technologies for Audi's connectivity, for their autonomous driving, and especially their virtual reality. Um, I'm excited to see where this thing takes us. I hope you are too.